Hey, welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike. Pam's behind the camera. Say hello, honey. Hello, honey. Oh, look at <laughs> She's my camera lady. Uh, anyway, today we're going to be doing some Alice Springs chicken, the same recipe that you get at Outback Steakhouse. Hey, we're doing it at home. What are we going to do? We got we're going to combine some garlic and onion with some mushrooms, saute that down. That's the prep first. We're going to go ahead and cook up some bacon, you know, uh, get that bacon grease separated and, uh, and, and then we'll reserve the bacon for later. And then we're going to butterfly that chicken, season it, saute it, put it all together, put it in the oven. It's going to be a great recipe. Hang with me. I'm going to show you how it works. <laughs> Did I say that right? I'm going to show you how it works. Ooh, let's get this skillet on. Turn that baby on high. Start getting it warmed up a little bit. What we want to do is get the bacon fried up first. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the bacon in here. And uh, I cut the bacon in half. Okay. This is, this is a bacon press. The booger weighs a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead, too bad it wasn't a little bit bigger. I want my bacon flat. So, hey, this could take seven, eight, 10 minutes. I'm gonna fry all this bacon up and I'll be right back, okay? Ooh, that bacon's looking good, man. The hardest thing about frying bacon is not to eat it, because you wanna eat it so bad. Okay, I turned the fire off and there's, there's a good bit of bacon fat in there. So what I'm going to do, if you don't have one of these little bacon fat reservoir things, whatever you call them, you need to get one of those. I'm leaving about two tablespoons of bacon fat in the skillet because the next thing to do is to prepare the onions, the mushrooms, and the garlic, okay? So I'm gonna turn that little fire back on. We'll get it, keep it on low. Now, once again, uh, I'm just gonna slice the onion like this. I cut the onion in half and uh, I'm just slicing it into rings. Of course, I don't want to cut my finger, so. And the garlic, well, I'm just going to slice those in little slices, three toes. And uh, that's all I'm going to do. And we're going to put that right in. And I'm going to go ahead and let these onions caramelize a little bit. And uh, as soon as uh, I get them nice and brown, then we're coming right back, okay? So give me, a, give me a few minutes. Well, the onions are caramelizing and that's what we're looking for. And honestly, I like the bacon bits that are left in there because that's gonna give it an immense amount of flavor. But I think I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more of that bacon grease, you guys. Just a little bit more. What a great little thing to have. Love it. Here's where we are. The onions are caramelizing, but I don't want them to be like so limp you can't see them. So at this point, I'm moving them over to the side and I'm putting in my couple of cups of mushrooms and I'm gonna turn the heat up. We're gonna get that heat rolling and, uh, and we're gonna let the mushrooms cook. Now, I wanna clarify something here, okay? I'm not overcooking the mushrooms. I don't want to cook the mushrooms till they cook down to almost nothing. Um, this right here is some Himalayan pink salt with a little pepper mixed. And I, I just want to dust it a little bit like that. Little sprinkle for flavor. Um, I don't want to overdo the salt or the pepper for that matter. And um, so now we're just going to let the onions and mushrooms uh, cook down just a little bit. So give me a, a few more minutes. I'm gonna grab this one chicken breast. 
I'm going to get my little meat tenderizer here. Now we're going to cut off any little pieces that I know I don't want. Uh, there's always this little piece on the tip and I don't like it. You can save that little piece of chicken if you like and make stock out of it and, and do whatever you want. I'm not saving it right now. Um, and this piece right here has to come has to come off. I don't like that either. And now I'm going to take put my knife here and give it a little butterfly. Okay. Flatten it out a little bit. Cut it right smack dab in half like that. Then we'll have two pieces. There's this other little piece that I really don't like. It's, you know, whenever you get that piece of chicken in your mouth and you go, oh God, I hate that little crunchy piece. All right, so here we go, look. That's where I want it, fires off. See that, beautiful. Mushrooms and onions are coming out. Well, that didn't take long. Just long enough to butterfly a chicken breast. See that? All right, so that's all going on the side. So we have our bacon, our mushrooms, and our onions. And now, by the way, the oven is preheated to 350. So now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, flatten that out a little bit more. You always want to flatten the thick side, you know, because you want the chicken to cook even. It's, it's not like we're just trying to make it bigger. You just, you want it to cook even. All right, that's all I'm going to do there. And uh, don't tell anybody. Uh, this is my secret here. But I'm using Paul Perdone's Black and Steak Magic. <laughs> Lord have mercy. So we're going to put some of that on there, rub it in, along with a little sprinkle of salt and pepper. And uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bacon grease in here. Turn that fire back on. We're going to get that nice and hot. See, that bacon grease comes in handy, man, I'm telling you. Oh, and, and it's, it's so great for, for the flavor, you know? The flavors are wonderful. All right, so we got uh, everything going on here. We got the onions and mushrooms, the bacon's ready. Our provolone cheese is sitting over here. So the fire is hot and and we're going in with the chicken. Here we go. Ooh, man. Talk about smell good. That smells good. All right. So, nice hot fire. Okay, we're gonna cook this just for a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna put them, we're gonna assemble everything right here in the skillet and the whole thing's going in the oven. That's, that's the great part about this. So at this point, um, throw in a little parsley and the chicken doesn't, ha it's pretty thin and I don't have, and look, that's it. I don't have to cook it too much now. So here, I'm going to assemble that chicken right here in the, in the skillet because we're going to go ahead and put that right in the oven. So the first thing we're going to do is come right here on top with some onions and mushrooms. We don't want to overdo it, but onions and mushrooms on top. Okay, the next thing is couple of layers of bacon. Well, not layers, but 
a couple of strips of bacon on there, maybe three. Three, now that's why I was trying to keep them flat, you know? Okay, well that one there gets four, right? No, this one's gonna get four too. All right. The next thing is some provolone. One, two, three slices. One, two, three. Okay, put my glove on. Take the little rubber handle off. Now it could go in the oven. It's at 350. And I'm setting my timer for 12 minutes. All right, I'll set it. See you later. Man, the Alice Springs chicken's out of the oven. It's smelling so good. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Did you see this masterpiece? Take a look at it. Oh man, it's wonderful. Now, I'm getting ready to go ahead and cut into this. Let me cut a little piece of this right here. Yes. And give it a taste. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Chicken is very tender. The flavors are outstanding. And got that little hint of bacon along with the spinach. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, is that good? Wow, holy mackerel. That is unbelievable. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this and learning how to cook Alice Springs chicken along with that sauteed spinach. As much as I liked eating it, oh wow, it is fabulous. Just do what I did. Pre-cook a few of the things when when it's time to butterfly the chicken and get that done you put it right in the oven provolone melts you know i mean you, you know you assemble it and, and the provolone melts and it's absolutely gorgeous it is just beautiful and you have a wonderful dinner and it and it wasn't taking you all day to make it okay great dinner healthy for you it's really good hope you enjoyed it Guys, give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, thank you so much. We love you. And thank you for coming back and watching the Sanders Kitchen. Hit the notification bell. You'll get notified of the new videos as they happen. Okay? So, once again, Alice Springs Chicken. Go make it. Have a great week. And God bless you.